It's going to be an exciting conversation. The Woman in the Wall is a six-episode thriller telling the story of a woman who finds a mysterious body, not alive, in her house one morning. Lorna Brady suffers from extreme bouts of sleepwalking, which leads her to believe maybe she did commit the murder. I heard about some of the things that you do when you sleepwalk. Kind of violent things, no? What business is that of yours? I'm the one asking the questions, Lorna. I want to master that voice. I'm the one <laughs> asking the questions. Well, the show takes inspiration from the history of Ireland's infamous and abusive Magdalene Laundries. And joining us to talk about their new show are the stars, Ruth Wilson, who plays Lorna Brady, and Daryl McCormick, who plays Detective Coleman. Welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time. So first, tell us about your characters and what their role is in this larger story. Uh, I play a character called Lorna Brady, who's a rather sort of eccentric, odd lady in the village who keeps herself to herself. And what you come to realize is that when she was 16, she went through one of these mother and baby homes where she got pregnant out of wedlock. Uh, and then her child was taken away from her and put into adoption or she doesn't really know what happened to her child, could have died as well. But she's, as a result, she suffers from sort of PTSD from trauma from that. And that manifests in her sleepwalking. So at night, she kind of subconsciously goes and does violent things and almost acts of revenge. Um, so in the first 15 minutes, like you said, she finds a body in her house and she thinks she might be responsible for this. Oh. And at the same time, another crime happens in Dublin and that's where Daryl's character comes into it, Coleman. And he's investigating that um, crime and those two bodies, those two murders, you realize are connected and they directly connect these two characters and their past. You know, as somebody who loves to write, I thought, would this have been better told as a full-length feature film? But I think it's done right episodically. Is that part of what attracted you to this? Because you're able to tell this story one bite or one bite at a time, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> Great little Irish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I played Christy Brown at one point, be, and you know what I'm talking my, about in my, my left foot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. keep that up. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the, the episodic really does justice to both characters um, and the scale of um, the history of the events as well, because I think it's important to give that its its space uh, and time. And it does really propel the show. It really starts to gain momentum um, as you go in through the series. So, yeah, I think it just it gives that space for the characters and the nuances and the style of the show to kind of breathe and live um, and hopes hopefully makes for a gripping, a gripping show. So one last question here. So the story isn't super well known outside of Ireland. So what do you hope international audiences are going to learn? Well, exactly that. I mean, this story isn't really known outside of Ireland, um, really. And so it's those survivors of those mother and baby homes are out there still trying to get their voice heard. So for us, the most important thing about this show is one, it, we want people to be entertained by it. And it is, it's a genre mashup. So they will be entertained, but also to take away kind of this tragic history. And, you know, the only way you can stop these things happening again is to learn about them in the first place. Um, so that's our, our hope with the show and with the series. Well, I love it. And I love that Ireland is getting some light and some love in addition to that, that dance sequence by the Saltburn actor. And you know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> but all love for all things Irish and all things creative. My dad always tells me, you've got the Fitzwater temper. <laughs> I have to push it down. But thank you so much for joining us live from New York, both of you. And we're taking cues from the pillow you're sitting on. This I love that. Stay yeah, away. Look, she, stay this, away. This, is from, this is obviously from the show. Stay away. She has hey, to stay away. And tell the truth. You've done interview after interview. We're the most fun, right? In San Francisco, we're the <laughs> yeah, most fun. You're, yeah, of course, always. Yeah. No one's done an Irish accent yet. So there you well, go. Or tried. Tried. <laughs> it's all in the teeth. It's all in the teeth, right? <laughs> <laughs> have a good morning. Thank you so much.